Hi, you ever wake up and feel like the world's off? Not, oops, I forgot my homework off. I mean, wrong, like something big is missing. That's what happened to me. It all started with the yearbooks. Miss Parker passed them out and everyone went crazy signing pages and scribbling inside jokes. I flipped through mine looking for my photo and nothing. I wasn't there. At first I thought it was a printing mistake, but then I asked my best friend Lexi, hey, where's my picture? Uh, who are you? I laughed. <laughs> She had to be kidding. She wasn't. No flicker of recognition. Then Ethan. Yeah, that Ethan. Walked right by me. I waved, smiled, and nothing. The guy I'd been dating for a year looked at me like I was air. And it didn't stop there. Teachers, friends, classmates, everyone acted like I didn't exist. Imagine every person in your life just forgetting you. If you want to know what happens next, and trust me, you do, hit that subscribe button. This story, it only gets weirder from here. Oh, the first thing I did after school was check my phone. Maybe there was a group chat or a message, something to prove I wasn't crazy. Nope, it was worse. All my photos were still there, but they weren't right. There were pictures of me at parties, concerts, vacations, places I didn't recognize. I stared at one from three months ago, me laughing with a girl named Emma. Bright red hair, freckles, no clue who she was. But here's the thing, there were just enough familiar pieces to make me second guess myself. Same bedroom, same phone case, but where were Lexi and Ethan? It was like someone swapped out my memories. Just enough to mess with my head, but not enough to hide everything. What the heck? I opened my diary, the one I've kept since I was 11, and flipped to a random page. Had lunch with Emma and Jake today. Ethan seemed off, didn't even say hi. Jake? Emma? Who were these people? And why did these entries feel, I don't know, off? The handwriting was mine, the dates matched, but the stories didn't. It was like reading someone else's life written in my voice. This doesn't make any sense. My heart raced as I flipped through more pages, names, events, memories that weren't mine. I spent the next hour digging through every photo, every note, every scrap of my life I could find, but none of it made sense to me. My diary told me one story, my phone another, my memories, well, they felt like pieces of a puzzle that didn't fit anymore. Then I stumbled across something strange, a blurry screenshot buried in my phone gallery, looked like a message thread but the text was too garbled to read. There was only one name at the top, Ethan. I knew it! Even though Ethan acted like he didn't know me, something wasn't right. The way his eyes darted when I waved earlier, how his shoulders tensed for just a second. It was subtle, like someone almost caught in a lie. And that's when I found it. Scrolling further down, I saw a message from a random number, just a date and a time, January 3rd, 10.15 a.m., confirmed, nothing else. I just couldn't shake the feeling that this wasn't some high-tech glitch or freak accident. No, someone did this to me. I found my way to a deep corner of Reddit, and after searching threads about memory loss, weird gaps in people's timelines and secret organizations, one name kept popping up, The Collective. Apparently, there's some underground group that offers clients a way to erase painful memories, not just from you, but from everyone involved. But here's the messed up part. They don't just erase memories, they rewrite them. People talk about getting new timelines, new photos, even diaries with false entries. Just enough truth sprinkled in to make you doubt yourself. The thought made my stomach flip. Someone erased me on purpose? But who and why? I spotted Ethan by his locker, casually flipping through his notebook. My pulse raced. This was it. I needed answers and he was the only person who might know something. I walked straight up to him, heart pounding, palms sweaty. Why are you lying to me? He glanced over, confused, then gave me a half smile. Uh, do I know you? There it was again, that flicker, so quick most people wouldn't notice, but I did. The way his lips twitched, the slight shift in his expression, like he was trying too hard to act normal. Like he knew what I remembered, but didn't line up with what I was supposed to remember. I stepped closer, lowering my voice. You remember me. I can tell. His jaw tightened for just a second, but then just as quickly he shook his head, his expression perfectly blank. Sorry, you've got the wrong guy. And just like that, he was gone, walking down the hallway like we were strangers. That's when I saw it, Lexi's phone sticking halfway out of her bag. She was too busy laughing with her friends to notice me. My hands shook, but I didn't care. I had to know. I slipped it out, heart pounding, and swiped to her text. There it was. 
Ethan's name, a message thread. Most of the texts were harmless, group chats, memes, but then I saw one from a week ago, late at night, from Ethan. Does anyone remember M? My blood ran cold. He slipped. He knew. I took a screenshot on her phone and airdropped it to mine before sliding the phone back where it was. Of course, I deleted the screenshot and left no trace. Ethan had been lying. But why? My head was spinning, and all I could think about was Ethan's message. He was lying. I knew it. At least, I thought I did. I spotted him walking toward the locker room, scrolling through his phone. Before I knew what I was doing, I called out. Hey, uh, Ethan? He stopped and looked up, eyebrows raised like I was just some stranger asking for directions. Uh, yeah? The way he said it, careful, cautious, like he was waiting to see what I wanted from him. You, uh, left your hoodie at my house last fall. Just figured I'd give it back to you sometime. I saw it! A flicker, so small it was almost nothing. His eyes had narrowed, like he was trying to place me just for a second. And then he laughed. Uh, no clue what you're talking about. Maybe I imagined it, or maybe he really didn't remember. But that moment, that tiny hesitation, it hit me like a punch to the gut. Right, my mistake. He gave me a polite smile, the kind you give a stranger, and walked off like nothing happened. But now? I was more confused than ever. Was I just seeing things that weren't there? I cornered Casey, someone I barely knew, but she was friends with Ethan's new girlfriend. Hey, weird question. Do you remember anything about Ethan, like, before he started dating Emma? She rolled her eyes. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows what happened. I tried to stay calm. What happened? She gave me a look like I should already know. There was that whole thing with him cheating on his ex, remember? It was a mess. <laughs> Until suddenly, poof, no one talked about it anymore. Ethan cheated? On me? And instead of facing the fallout, he erased me from his life, from everyone's life? He got away clean. No scandal, no angry ex, no Mira. I stood there frozen. It felt like the ground swallowed me whole. Ethan cheated on me, and instead of owning it, he erased me. He deleted me from the world like I was a glitch in his perfect story. Uh, are you okay? I swallowed hard, forcing a smile. Yeah, just processing. The worst part? Even if I fixed this, even if I undid everything and got my life back, what would be left? The people I loved, the memories I felt to hold on to, they wouldn't mean the same thing anymore. Ethan had moved on, built a new life, and me? I'd be nothing more than the wreckage of the truth waiting to pull him under. I had a choice to make. Bring everything crashing down and take back what was stolen, or leave it buried and walk away once and for all. I found a way. It wasn't easy, and it sure as hell wasn't guaranteed. People whispered about ways to undo what the collective did, but no one really knew for sure. You had to dive deep, deeper than you ever wanted to go. And even if you managed to break through their system, there was always a cost. I thought long and hard about it. What I'd lose, what I'd gain, but in the end, it wasn't really a choice. I couldn't keep living in a world where I didn't exist. I saw it happen, Ethan's face, when the truth started coming out, like someone had pushed him into a deep, dark hole. The new girlfriend? Gone. His friends? Silent. The whispers spread fast. Ethan, the perfect golden boy, wasn't so perfect after all. And the worst part? Well, for Ethan, everyone remembered. They remembered everything, the lies, the cheating, the fights, and for the first time, they remembered me. I sat in class, flipping through my newly restored yearbook. My photo was there, right where it always should have been. But it didn't feel the way I thought it would. The memories were back, but so was the hurt. Nothing about it felt like a victory. Some things, once broken, can't be put back together. I slipped a folded note inside Ethan's yearbook, <laughs> right beneath his smiling photo. No grand revenge, no dramatic ending. Just a simple reminder that no matter how hard he tried to erase me, some things can never truly be forgotten.